Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Sun, sand, and beauty awaits. Adventure around every corner and artistry like nowhere else. Hi, I'm Colleen Kelly, and this is Family Travel. Welcome to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Located on the southwestern coast of Mexico, in the state of Jalisco, Puerto Vallarta is home to wonderful history, food, art, and excitement for people of all ages. In this episode of Family Travel, my husband Greg, our daughter Donovan, and family friends Nick and Lizzie join me to explore this incredible city. My sister Katie also happened to be in town on business and made a little room on her schedule for adventure. In this episode of Family Travel, we'll visit Puerto Vallarta's beautiful botanical garden, satisfy our appetites with some of the best street tacos in town, set sail for a swashbuckling adventure, try out our culinary skills, visit the largest vehicular suspension bridge in the world, and enjoy some fun in the sun at Las Coletas. Pack your bags, we're headed to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. My name is Colleen Kelly, and when I was single, I lived abroad and traveled the world. Then I became a parent and wondered, how would I ever travel again? So I set out to find a new way to travel and get back to exploring the world family style. I'm here to guide you on how to get the most out of your family vacation. Pack your bags and join me, Colleen Kelly. We're going on vacation. Funding provided by... Ted Tetzloff, attorneys for your personal and business needs. The first stop on our Mexican adventure takes us to Vallarta Botanical Gardens. On the drive down, families may catch a glimpse of Los Arcos de Mesmaloya. One of the most incredible features of Puerto Vallarta are the natural land formations, like Los Arcos. Founded in 2004, the Vallarta Botanical Garden serves as an ecological hub for the preservation and propagation of Mexican plant life. One of the big draws of Puerto Vallarta is its ecotourism. And what better place for ecotourists to come than Vallarta Botanical Gardens? With their commitment to conservation, beautiful nature trails, and relaxing Horcon River, it makes Vallarta Botanical Gardens a must stop for anybody looking to unwind and enjoy a peaceful day in the fresh Mexican air. Uh, what you can do here in the Vallarta Botanical Garden? Well, the thing is that uh, the Botanical Garden is open for everyone who wants to visit us. And you can visit all the 28 acres here inside the garden. We have the, like 10 different trails. Uh, easy, medium and really uh, hard trails for those who like to walk. Uh, we have a river down there, the Orocones River, and also uh, we have more than 20 species of birds in the area. We have military macaws that uh, we conserve inside the botanical gardens. Also, well, at night we hear that uh, we have jaguars in the area. Our first visit was to the visitor center. There, Marcos showed us the beautiful display of tiles that had been laid in honor of various donors who had visited the gardens. A little trek down from the Hacienda de Oro is the Horcon River. Families will love going for a dip and warming their feet in the sand. Further up from the Hacienda de Oro, we also got to experience some of the local bird life. Botanical Gardens is dedicated to the preservation of bird life, including the military macaw. As we hiked up further up the trail, we finally came to the Bridge of Dreams, where it's said that if you close your eyes and cross, your wish will come true. And finally, we came to the chapel, where many happy couples have tied the knot. With so much romance in the air, it may even inspire you to renew your own vows. With so much to see and learn, the gardens are an educational hotspot, as well as a wonderful place for a family to unwind. As you can see, it's absolutely beautiful here. What a great way to kick off our vacation. After a day at the Botanical Gardens, we've all worked up a big appetite. We're ready to dig into some of the local cuisine with Vallarta Food Tours. We met our guide Manuel and headed to the street for an evening taco tour. Oh my gosh, this is great. Hey Manuel. So Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. We're excited. Oh, yeah. Good. <laughs> well, welcome to Vallarta Food Tours. Thank you. We're doing a special tour for you guys tonight. So we're walking around the streets of Puerto Vallarta and we're having our local 
um, tasty dishes. We're starting here in this uh, plaza, in this main square. Okay. We're heading off that way so we can try our first tasting. Okay, okay you guys Good. ready? Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. Right, ready? Let's make it happen. Okay, let's go. Let's go. The tour began with a traditional drink, a fermented coconut punch with palm tree sap. With many tacos from so many beautiful taco stands, it could be hard to know where to start. Our guide Manuel led us through the stands with such grace and ease. And finally, we landed on a place to sit. They just brought this to me. This is way too much for me. So you're all gonna have to share this with me. <laughs> The meal was fantastic, and Manuel's company was greatly enjoyed. We love family-run restaurants, and this is one of my favorite seafood restaurants. In this case, this family, all the staff, they're the same family. And they started back in 1989 with uh, just a small stand selling ceviche yeah. and working their way up. Wow. They moved to the story. first restaurant with only four tables in 1997. Yeah. and seven years ago to this bigger restaurant. Wow. Yeah. And why do you do the tours? Like, what made you start them? Good question. Uh, one, I love street food. Two, I love the research on street food. So I like to go around, try new places. Talk and then to people, all, find talk. out what the story is, the history, the Meet the, the families, families. Meet, them. Yeah, meet, the, the meet their background. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Find out how they started doing this. Yeah. That's what really makes it interesting for me. I think it's fair to say everyone had a good time. Because if there's one thing that brings people together, it's food. Let's toast, ready? Thank you for taking us to some amazing My place, pleasure. a local place. Um, yes, what do we say in, in, uh, in Spanish? Salud. 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 <laughs> Our final stop on the tour was La Casa Dolce, a wonderful little candy shop here in Puerto Vallarta. The family-run shop opened in 2015. Most of the candies are from the region, except the chocolate, which is produced in Oaxaca. Among all the candies, one of them is the most prized, the gara piñato, caramel-covered peanuts with sesame seeds. La Casa Dolce produces their own. High seas, rough tides, and swashbuckling adventure awaits. One of the prides of Puerto Vallarta, the Mari Galante pirate ship. It's one of the premier attractions for families visiting the area. The day begins with breakfast on board the ship. Passengers can choose from either an American or Mexican breakfast. After that, the crew kicks off one of the greatest pirate shows around. There's music, adventure, and even walking the plank. As the journey comes to its halfway point, the ship finds its destination at the magical Mahahuitas Island. Well, there are a lot of uh, activities that we can make you the families to come to our uh, pirate ship. We can start uh, as activity that we have on board with the pirate ship. Our crew is fantastic. We have uh, on the beach, we have uh, beach activities as a snorkeling, kayak, treasure hunt for families. We have volleyball and enjoy the best uh, beach that we have here in Mahawitas Island. He enjoyed it. He's so fascinating about treasure. First time ever he saw the treasure. In, in real life. So. We love Puerto Vallarta. It's not only fun for us, but for any age type, from little ones to seniors. <laughs> Everything is very good. We are so happy in Vallarta. With so much fun for the family, you'll absolutely want to explore the high seas with pirate ship Vallarta. For foodies, like my husband Greg, a great way to spend your day in Puerto Vallarta is by visiting Gabby's restaurant. Here you can indulge in some authentic Mexican cuisine, or even create your own with a cooking class taught by Chef Julio Castellan. Families come from around the world to learn the art of cooking from Chef Julio, a chef who is committed to the gastronomical arts of Mexico. The class begins at Emiliano Zapata, a traditional Mexican market, where we acquire all our locally sourced ingredients for the class. All that's left to do is grab the rest of the ingredients and head back to Gabby's for our class, which we'll soon use to make some delicious homemade tortillas. Let's go to make some tortillas, okay? okay? Yeah. yeah. So if you are here in Mexico, 
let me explain you something. When Mexicans try to make a decision between what taco stand choose, always we choose the taco stand who we heard this noise. So immediately we, we know in my mind, oh, don't choose this one. Choose this one because it's handmade tortilla. Oh, so if you okay. want to, to, to make the perfect tortilla, you need to make handmade tortillas. So here I have a part of my will of my grandmother. Oh, so we this have the grandma's press tortilla. Wow, okay. that's cool. So my, my first thing, you need to have a skill with the fire, as you say, uh, very high fire, very yes, high. Very yeah, very so you need to have the plastic. Just caliente. Remember at the market, we, buy, we bought some yeah. of the yeah. masa, yeah. we call masa or corn dough. So first thing, please, around your hands. You have to work it a little bit? Yeah. yeah. There's that noise. Yeah, that's the marketing technique of the taco stands. Okay. To say, hey, Ben. <laughs> Put it right here. Press. Oh, okay. yours is perfect. that was so fast. Right. That was good. That, right? yeah. Wait a minute. And next, it's my turn to give it a shot. Press. Let's see how I did. Great. Oh, oh my gosh. And then like a cigarette. Oh, look at that. As Chef Julio explains, always with your palm to the sky, with half the tortilla hanging off your hand, Lay the tortilla flat on the skillet. 12 seconds on one side, followed by 24 seconds on the other. This, Chef Julio says, is the secret to making perfect tortillas. And next, everybody got to give it a try. We then learned how to make salsa. So our next thing to do is salsa. No? We, we have already tortillas for making our tacos, but taco is not complete if we don't have good salsa. Okay. And the best salsas in Mexico, obviously, you need to use this thing. So wow. we call in Mexico el molcajete. It's made from lava rocks from the volcanoes wow. of the the middle of the of the country. Wow. That's okay. cool. You need you need you need to use your muscles now. Use maybe, the rocks. Maybe too. I should do it. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so we have all the spices right here. Okay. We have already the charbroil tomatoes, garlic, and serrano peppers and onions, no? This is for salsa roja de molcajete. Okay, so let's do that. Just it's simple. Just Putting everything inside okay. here. You said you need muscles, so do you want yeah, me to come and do this for you? More or less like this. Too. Oh, yeah, you do need muscles. So now when you roast the uh, tomatoes and garlic, do you yeah. put any oil on them or just right in the grill? Just roast them. Yeah, a little bit of the. A little bit of oil. Yeah. Okay. So it's your turn. Look at that. And Madame, you need to. Do they make sauce. it like this? I mean, most you know, most that, of them actually do it this way. Uh, in the present, we, are, we already we have electricity, we use the blenders, so we make like a competition. The same ingredients in the blender and the same ingredients yeah. on the molcajete. Try it. Taste them. Tastes better, this one. Really? The molcajete is lava rocks from the volcano, have a oh. lot of minerals, add flavor to the salsa, and every Mexican knows that. They do, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, I like this way. <laughs> All right, yeah, put it. Oh my gosh, I want to try this. <laughs> How is it? Mm. How'd he do? Good. Oh. Good. I'm, getting, I'm earning my keep over here. Mm. That is so fresh. That is so good. Woo! I can feel the kick. It was now time to make our own fajitas, complete with flambe. Oh! oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. What a show. Uh-uh. For me first? Mmm. Mmm. So good. <laughs> yeah, I love fajitas anyway, but I don't uh, think I've ever had a fajita that I went to the market, picked out the produce. Made the tortilla. Made the tortilla. <laughs> made the tortilla. <laughs> and, and then cooked it. And the, and, cooked it. and the salsa. Yeah. And the salsa. At the end of class, there was only one proper way to end it. As Chef Julio put it, we were in the state of Jalisco, the land of tequila and mariachi. You know the common way to say cheers is salud, no? Salud. salud. But I, I have another one. The real follow, one. Follow me. Okay. okay. We, we need to say arriba. 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 Abajo. Abajo. Al centro. Al centro. Adentro. Adentro. As Puerto Vallarta has transformed over the years, it's become a cultural hotspot for talented artists. With galleries spanning the coastline, 
families coming to Puerto Vallarta will want to make sure they take a peek. In Puerto Vallarta, art is celebrated, whether it's on the historic Malicón or one of the many wonderful art galleries. The talent on display here is one of the most culturally enriching and visually pleasing around, especially when paired with Puerto Vallarta's beautiful coastline. Those visiting during the right time of year can partake in Puerto Vallarta's fabulous art walk. But that shouldn't stop anybody from enjoying one of the fabulous art galleries year-round, like Galleria Collectica, curated by Kevin Simpson. Hi, guys. Hi. Welcome. Hi, I'm Kevin. Colleen. All right. Hi, Kevin Gray. Yeah. Welcome to Gallery Thank Collectica. You. Thank, you. Thank you. Well, this is our collection of Mexican folk art. Beautiful. So come on in. Let me show oh, you around. Yeah. Very good. Sure. With so much fantastic artwork on display, the family and I were thoroughly impressed. And so these are sacred hearts with what we call milagros. So milagros are little tin objects like this hand here. So for example, if you had a bad arm, you take this to church and pray on it for it to get better. Yeah. And what happened was they just got piles of these things and decided to put them on here and sell them to people. And so it's your own little miracle. Oh, I like oh, that. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. Look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah, I love it. As Kevin led us around, he eventually brought us to some of the more museum-like pieces. Um, for example, these would be considered a shaman's chair. Look at that. Shaman's chair. Yeah. What was a shaman? Because they yeah. probably don't know the shaman. A shaman's like a medicine man. Okay. So he's the one who guides you through the ceremony. Uh, he's the healer okay. of the community. And then when they do ceremonies, though, they also put these out for the gods. Oh. So these are mean? gods' chairs. Oh. oh, so they have their own chairs. They have their own to chairs. To say thank you to the gods. Well, when they created the world, they actually got tired. Oh, it's So a they lot of say work. that the blue deer, <laughs> Kayumari, took the antlers of his elder brother yeah. and twisted them in the form of a chair so he could sit down. I think they need these for mothers because we get tired all the time. Well, it's kind of funny though because I asked him once, I said, well, why do you make them so small? Yeah. And he says, well, if God's so great, when does he need a big chair for? Oh, <laughs> I, yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> funny. For those visiting Puerto Vallarta, you'll absolutely want to check out the art scene down here in Mexico. Adrenaline junkies, start your engines. We're about to take to the ATV trails at Canopy River. When we first arrived at Canopy River, the family enjoyed some fun times in the sun, relaxing in the hammocks and soaking up the refreshing Mexican air. But relaxation won't last long when there's excitement to be had. The trail we are going on will take us through the mountains of Jalisco. Crashing through the jungles and gripping our steering wheels tight, our journey has taken us to Harulo Bridge, which is just a bit further up the trail. For those who want to cool off on their way up the bridge, they can stop for a swim at the El Sato Waterfall, which stretches in at over 100 feet. Along the way, families can enjoy the El Sato Waterfall. And do you get a little dirty? Yeah, but that's half the fun. And finally, our trip brings us here to the Harulo Bridge, the largest drivable suspension bridge in the world. Fans of the show know I am afraid of heights. So crossing this thing was no easy feat for me. Thankfully, my sister Katie was right there by my side. I'm very nervous, but here's the thing. I'm driving, so you should be more nervous. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I gotta go slow. I don't know if I should go slow or fast. I don't know if I want to get off the faster or go slow. No, I am not looking over there. All right, don't look. <laughs> Oh, what's that noise? Oh my gosh. Hurry up! I'm okay. trying! Oh. 470 meters in length and 150 meters above the ground, it is a sight to behold. While you're here, Canopy River has much to offer, from zip lines to mule rides and more, making it a great destination for your family vacation. There's only one last stop on our trip, and that's to Las Coletas with Vallarta Adventures. What was once home to legendary film director John Huston now serves as a modern attraction for tourists from around the world. A handmade tortilla is a great way to start off the day here at Las Coletas. As a tour and activity operator of Puerto Vallarta, Vallarta Adventures is a great way for families to get adventurous. We began by meeting some of the friendly and adorable sea lions. 
These rescued sea lions are given excellent food, shelter, and medical care. Once they are nursed to full health, they are then released back into the wild. We're involved um, with animal rescues in a number of ways. In Mexico, there is a network of companies that are designated to help when, for example, a, a whale might get caught in fishing nets. So we go out and we help with rescues uh, or in uh, disentanglements of whales or dolphins or any marine mammal. Um, our dolphin centres are designated rehabilitation centres. In fact, I've just come from there where I've learned the story of Lucy, a Californian sea lion who we found in Cabo San Lucas with a fractured pelvis, a fractured uh, spine. And through seven months of 24-7 care, we've brought her back to the point where not only is she able to move again, she can actually make a two meter jump out of, out of a poolside. So, I mean, that is absolutely incredible. So we're very focused on, on rehabilitation, on rescuing animals, and on doing what we can to help um, well, any wildlife in the local community. Another fun and educational experience at Las Coletas is a sea lion encounter where families have the chance to swim with an actual sea lion and learn about their physiology, feeding habits, and behaviors. Our marine mammal specialist, Lucy, introduced us to our sea lion for the day, Lucas. Lucas, say hola. Good. 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 Lucas is a Californian sea lion. He was rescued when he was only six months old. He was found in Cabo San Lucas. Right now he's a very handsome teenager. He's seven years old, right? He's gonna keep growing. Right now he weighs about 161 kilos. So that's about 300 pounds. But uh, in a few years, he's going to be about 700 pounds. Wow. And he's going to have a big crest that's going to yeah. make him very sexy for the girls. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Greg and the kids loved getting up and close with this beautiful creature. Ooh, Look at him! He's taller than you! Such a beautiful creature, and the day was absolutely gorgeous. Another one of the main attractions to Las Coletas is the zip line. From on top of the cliff, families can get a great view of the secluded beach and all it has to offer. A true slice of paradise and a great opportunity to get your heart pumping. First up was Donovan. And next up, Lizzie got to have her turn. And last but not least was Nick. All in all, it was a fabulous family experience. With so many adventurous activities, you'll want to wear comfortable clothes and sturdy shoes. And don't forget to wear your swimsuit under your clothes if you decide to take part in any of the aquatic activities. We opted for a little parasailing. The view was amazing. We're in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico right now. Yeah. The sight. Are we are like uh, 80 feet in the air, yeah. seeing this beautiful Probably, we're more than world. Feet in the air. Okay, I just don't want to think about it. <laughs> I'm so grateful I got to step outside my comfort zone and experience this wonderful paradise from so high up. You're up. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> With hearts pumping and wind blowing, Katie and I came in for a landing. Next, I got to witness one of my favorite parts of the trip. My husband Greg and our daughter Donovan up in the air as father and daughter. Ready. Back. Get in up. Get a little relaxing. Woo! Woo! <laughs> we really got a gust there. <laughs> and then Nick and Lizzie got their turn. And although people say teenagers are hard to please, there's no question that ours had a blast here. Look over there, there's a cave. Whoa. With so many fun activities to enjoy, it's impossible not to have fun here in Puerto Vallarta. We explored Mexico's natural side at Vallarta Botanical Gardens, soaked up the local culture with an art walk and a street taco tour, and set sail on the high seas with some swashbuckling pirates. While the kids enjoyed Puerto Vallarta's endless adventures, Greg was in his element during our cooking class at Gabby's Restaurant. And I conquered my fears crossing the longest vehicular suspension bridge in the world. Even though we may have to say adios to Puerto Vallarta for now, we will definitely be back.
From my family to yours, happy travels. Or as the locals would say, viejes felices. Thanks for watching Family Travel in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. I'm Colleen Kelly. Enjoy making memories on your next family vacation. She's saying this. Look, everybody, we're just having a little conversation. There goes my hat. Grab my hat. Grab my hat. Got it. Oh, thank God. Woohoo! If we drop now, we'll be okay. We probably would be. We're just sitting here with this stuff on, but. Yeah. I mean, I, I think we'd be fine if we fell. So. Pretty. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 I'm just going to sweat even more. Sweat even more. Oh, neck. are you ready for that, Nick? No. Okay. <laughs> starts coming out his ears. <laughs> 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 Funding provided by Ted Tetzloff, attorneys for your personal and business needs. For more information on upcoming destinations and projects, visit FamilyTravelCK.com. Follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. And check us out on Snapchat. We'd love to hear from you.